for a run. I like now that I kind of have like a little neighborhood that I can run around in. It feels pretty safe, but like obviously as a woman, you know, like yo ass could get snatched up in five seconds. So I want to go to the gym too. Like I told you guys, like my diet was so off. I meal prepped last night, as y'all saw. I'm gonna go see my sister today. She's having a dinner. I think I'm gonna do glutes today because I haven't done glutes in a minute. Also, this bathroom has a yellow light, which is not a bad yellow light. Like it looks pretty cool toned in here but i'm thinking that i want to put like some little strip lights around these mirrors so that it is like a little bit brighter because i feel like if i'm doing my makeup and stuff you can't see too well like, i'm so disoriented today <laughs> i'm mad also because the motherfuckers i thought i had both of my olaplexes i only have my olaplex shampoo i guess my olaplex conditioner was in the suitcases that they stole so anyways i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna figure out what the fuck i'm doing today so my bath mat just came in. I was about to wash my hair and like take a shower. I'm glad that I waited for this one and I did get one at Ross actually because like the furry bath mat, for some reason they get, I don't know, like my brain just tells me like they hold a lot of bacteria. This one is just like flat. It's like perfect gray because it goes with the shower and everything. It's just kind of tiny. It's actually really funny. I didn't think it was that small. It's like fucking minuscule. I literally have to like walk out and stay right here. My topper is also here. I did have a bigger one. Amazing. You know what? I'm just going to use that another time because that's $24 that I can save. I don't mind broke bitch shit. I don't think I've ever in my life been like $24. Like I'm not going to spend $24. But right now, right now I am. this morning to go um, get some new makeup. It was $100 and I bought, I think maybe not even 10 items. It was just actually insane. I'm gonna do a TikTok video like trying all these new things because there's a lot of different makeup that I actually have not bought before. The only thing I bought before was the putty and stuff, which I really liked. Everything else is pretty much new. I'm so mad that I had to buy all this new makeup. I feel like this mascara is not gonna be that great. I've never tried a Wet n Wild mascara. Oof, I don't really like this applicator. Thank God that I had some Cover FX foundation. You guys know, like I swear by Cover FX foundation. I just bought like bronzers, blush. I had setting powder and everything already and I just needed some eyebrow things. Got Versed moisturizer because <clears throat> I have no skincare. I just picked up my apostrophe from my sister's because it got shipped over there. I'm just gonna keep it very simple. Like I have my regular face wash and I use my apostrophe and some moisturizer and call it a day. This eyeliner looks good though. It's really only like $5 too, surprisingly. I got this little lip stain from e.l.f. It's actually really cute. I'm also super sad because in my suitcase was all of my true essential shorts, which I, which I literally live in these fucking sweat shorts and I understand like yeah it's from my brand so obviously I can give myself more. I have budgeted into the like every launch's budget an accounted amount that's supposed to be sold. So if I pull like that the top for this is gone, I just have the shorts and then the other two colors both pieces are missing. If I pull that then that's like gonna low key cost me almost three hundred dollars because the sets are like one twenty each. So I'm just like you know what I have to live without it. Maybe when we restock, I might, but for now, I'm not. So I just have the gray shorts, which actually are my favorite, but I wear these sets literally, I swear you guys, you guys see me them like almost every single vlog. And now I don't have them, which is sad, but. Why are you slowing down? Oh, the traffic?
Break lines, red lights, hold hands, grip tight, play fights, your lips still taste like Nick D, sweet tea. Who wants to drive through shit without you? So we're going into PLT. I'm gonna see if I can get some fucking clothes. As they don't rub my ass blind and I ain't got shit no more. PLT only lets you take like two or three items from the gift gifting boutique, so it's a little fucked up, but we don't see. You sweet burning rubber smooth tread on my car ties. All talk got your spark tied. Butterflies in my stomach putting out this hard fire. Love sick. A couple rocks. Unfortunately, the shit was lacking in there today. It was mostly party city type of life thing. It was like just a bunch of fucking costumes. I got some black boots. I got um, like a gray, the sunlight is messing up, like a gray jumper kind of thing. I left my camera at home. Y'all are getting the phone camera and my ear be greasy as hell. So this camera's always a mess. Good morning. Happy, what's today? Today's Friday. Oh fuck, today's Friday. I literally didn't go to bed till like one o'clock last night. So I was, I'm talking to my friend the whole fucking night for like hours. Like literally we went to the gym together and we were talking the whole time. So when Kanye launched the whole like Yeezy Gap thing, I bought it because somebody suggested to me like, oh, it'll be really good for you to resell. First of all, it took forever for them to like run the stock of certain shit that I had. I don't know if they like kept restocking or whatever. They ran out of stock, like literally just finally and stuff started going up in value. So like the sweatshirt that I had bought for like $250 was, I think it's like $400 now. And then the hat is like a hundred something, like high 100s and it was 90 something before. I was going to keep it because he said that he wasn't working with Gap anymore. So I was like, oh shit, this stuff is going to be worth a lot of money. Mind you, I literally don't give a fuck about Kanye. I don't give a fuck about any of this shit. Like a bitch was just trying to run up a bag. But now that this motherfucker is running his mouth every eight seconds, sounding like a fucking dumbass. I feel like he has really rubbed people the wrong way. A lot of his fans are probably not gonna be fucking with him anymore. Even though I know like these hype beast kids are like diehards, like they're not gonna care. I feel like he's pissed off a lot of people, so it might be a little difficult to sell his shit now. I don't wanna lose out on that money, and honestly, I think I paid like. I think I paid like almost $300, $400 for that stuff. I'm so tired. Like, Sunday, I'm gonna go thrifting again. I went thrifting yesterday, like you guys saw. If you wanna see the haul, it's up on my TikTok. I'm gonna see if I can find a table. I hate that my room is so empty. Like, everything else out here is decorated pretty much, but I'm just like, I want my room to, to be nice. Anyways, so, yeah, me and my friend last night, I was talking about like toxic people and stuff. And like people being in your lives and like manipulating you or whatever. Your body will literally tell you like when you're not supposed to have somebody in your life. Like you just, like you really want things to work, but sometimes people are not good for you. Like they're just not a good person for you. Doesn't mean they're, they're not a good person, but like your body will literally tell you. Like you'll start feeling queasy and uneasy being around them. And like something just, things just don't click. Like I started like noticing I was like getting stomach pain and stuff. And it's like, I don't know. I'm the type of person that I literally always see the best in somebody and i'm such a loyal person the lengths of my loyalty is almost embarrassing like i will literally give you my last penny to try to help you before i will spend it on myself there's a lot of people that say that shit but like i literally literally am like that i felt like i was giving this person completely my all 100 percent of me and they basically were like well i'm only gonna give you 40 percent if you decide to give me 100 percent, that's on you genuinely it is like it really is it's my fault yesterday i feel like i just really hit like my my maximum peak where i was just like this person doesn't give a fuck about me like it's just for convenience. It's just because I'm able to provide them all these things that they want. And if someone really wants to, they will. It's so easy to get wrapped up in people's words. I have to see people for what they really are. And it's just so funny how your body will literally tell you like enough is enough. Yeah, I feel better now that I'm kind of like, all right, enough. Like once you cut that person out, it kind of is a relief, but like I also know I'm gonna start feeling really shitty. I learned to, to like cut people off without an explanation. That was my problem with a lot of times before that I would like try to talk things out and explain. And then that's where you end up back in the same circle with them because people that are manipulative, they're gonna find a way to convince you like that's not the way things are, you're seeing it incorrectly. Like basically being like, don't trust your brain. Like you've seen the same fucking behavior over and over again, but like don't trust your brain. I'm telling you what's right. I also feel like having a conversation and explaining more upsets me more. I obviously know like the next couple of days are gonna be a little hard for me, but I feel like I have, like I have friends, I'm gonna be busy. I think that's the best thing to do is just like be busy and like do stuff and just kind of stay preoccupied. So I'm trying to stay in a positive mindset and just understand like I honestly did not lose anything. I gained a lot because 
this person wasn't providing me anything. Like they were, it was just me constantly give, 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 give. And them like take, 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 take. And it's just like, I deserve so much more than that. I am worthy of so much more. I think I'm just gonna have a little bit of a self care day, try and get my life together. See emotionally how I'm feeling tomorrow. What's my update? I'm gonna go drink my coffee. I'm so mad because I bought the wrong coffee creamer and shit. And like this coffee tastes like fucking ass. Coffee is like the highlight of my life. I don't have what I want, but it'll have to do for now. But it's you that you see. Thought it was me first. Be high self inner.